what is good YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid, man. Let's talk about today's release for the 700 Alvas. Uh, these are the original ones. These are the Azels. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said the easy names, right? I think. And this release was ridiculous. Oh my God. I never, I, I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm a little salty because I did, yes, I did take an L. So anyone out there, if you guys got uh, sizes, please hit me up, DM me, email me. I am buying sizes of the Alvis. That is right. I'm gonna do this video about another hold or sell or when to buy, stuff like that. You know, just some informational video for this particular uh, sneaker uh, I feel like this shoe is a good shoe definitely to resell this is this is like top-notch <laughs> there's definitely money to be made there's definitely money to be made especially when there's like you know we're in this pandemic going on and just a bunch of craziness so now this release was pretty tough um, I for what I'm hearing that uh, some of the rumors and resources I was talking to they said like yo I don't they didn't think that all the stock to release because they're supposed to be a little bit more what they thought was gonna be but who really knows I mean, honestly, this shoe here is, uh, they're, they went up, like they're up, especially these things here. The original ones, they went up significantly. So these things here are going up right now, definitely, because a lot of people took L's and it was really high demand. And plus it's a black Yeezys. I've been saying for the longest, black Yeezys are good to go. They're always good, no matter what. And yes, I get the centers are kind of bricking, but you know, we'll, we'll talk about that. I think once things get, it'll get better. Um, but these hours here, this here, it's a little different compared to most Yeezys. You know, most times Yeezys, the small sizes, is the, is the money size. Now, not this time. This time, the big sizes are the money size. Let's, I mean, my size already about a size nine, two, nine and a half, we're going for about like four. Woo. Size 11 and 12, they're looking at the 420 range right now. And yeah, it just looks, and the, the sales are doing pretty good too, about 400 uh, for a size 12, 400. Let's look at a size nine. It's going for the sales now about like, you know, 380, 390. So still pretty good, absolutely. But right now, this is like, we're at a different stage right now. Cause you know, sales goes up right now because first of all, we're in this situation we're in and uh, there's no, no stores got these things. This was an online release only. So people are kind of panicking right now. It's a panic buying stage right now. Everybody's panic buying, spending big money because they took that L and they really want these things and then they just hit that buying, that immediate gratification. Which I get, man, we're in the panic, uh, the panic buying stage right now. So I think once, this is my prediction. I mean, you guys can disagree if you want. Once people start to get pairs, and this could be a week from now or two weeks from now, okay? Let's give it about two weeks, okay? Two weeks from now, prices will start to dip down a little bit. People will start to, you know, we're gonna get little Timmy's, we're gonna start to sell them, sell them here and there. People will start to panic sell, stuff like that. Uh, they're just gonna keep undercutting each other from, you know, the, uh, these apps and the market just gonna go down a little bit. Not that much though, trust me. Don't think I'm saying these things are bricks. These things are not bricks at all, but the price will go down a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Not, not too much though. It's, trust me, there's still gonna be money to be made. Um, and once it dips down, start the sales, people are gonna start to get pairs and so on and so forth. And and uh, yeah, and then price will dip down a little bit. I, that's what, I, my opinion. I don't see it going like, like you know, just keep going up and up and up and up. I mean, right now, 400 is, is quite a bit. I mean, I get it. These things were, uh, went, kept going up. Well, that's different. These things did dip uh, for, for a little bit once people were starting to get pairs. But you guys gotta think, this was like the first silhouette, the same, this, uh, the first colorway. This is like, you know, different so i this this is like a covenant you know it's something different this is like i said this is a man shoe so small sizes not so they're not doing too much right now i mean three they're still at 360 so it, it'd be fine but bigger size is definitely the way to go right now especially for you know if you're looking for big money resale um small size not, i don't know it I, I just don't see it maybe because it's just not a woman's shoes not really a girly shoe so definitely you know for the for the fillers out. So my prediction: once everything gets to pairs, we'll, we'll talk about my size, a size nine. I do see it becoming. Right now, they're like at size nine and a half is going for like four about 400, 415 right now. That's that range for about size nine to a nine and a half. Once people get pairs, I do see it going to about like 350, maybe even like 380, something like that. More, more or less, still money to be made. And big sizes, I think it's always gonna be good, man. Big sizes is always gonna be like about $400 for real. Maybe 380, but definitely around that 400 range. That's 
after two weeks now. All sizes, you know, usually the money size, babe size, size four is going for like 340. Uh, size six is going by like 350, 340, so on and so forth. So I still seen about that size, about like three, you know, about 300, 320, still $100 over retail because these things only retail for $200. So this definitely, I t I'm telling you, all sizes is still good to go. All sizes is all, you know, it's still money to be made. But just give it a little bit. Just give it a little bit, especially once this whole pandemic's over with, man. This is gonna be a good shoe to hold, for real. Uh, will it go higher as this? Probably not. I mean, my goodness, these things, a size uh, nine for these things are going for like 600 freaking dollars. Like, wow. That's a, a really good come up, especially if you bought it for, if you bought a bunch of pairs for uh, resale, it's still a pretty good come up. So if you guys want to hold these things, definitely a black, uh, you know, the, the Avas. Uh, I'd say if you do hold them, they could go up to about like maybe five or so. It's definitely a good shoe to hold. I'm like a Yeezy, a black Yeezy, all black Yeezy, if that is always a good hold. Like you just can't go wrong with black Yeezys. Smaller sizes, I'm not sure how much more they can go up. I mean, they could go up. I, I just don't see in like small sizes being like no more than 400. I don't, I don't think so. And same thing with the bigger sizes. I could see it going 500. I definitely could, you know? Just in case if everyone gets on me because if price do dip down all of a sudden because, you know, we're in this predicament here. Um, if you need to sell it, I get it, you know? People need to make money. Uh, you know, people's out jobs, people's not working, people's laid off, stuff like that. If you need to sell it, man, go ahead and sell it, definitely. I mean, it's a $200 come up if you got it for retail. I mean, that's good. That's really, really good. I mean, do you really feel like holding it for a couple weeks or months just to make an extra, you know, money? That's up to you. That's up to you how you guys want to decide if you if you want to do it that way or not. I don't know. Five, I mean, 500 probably be like the max. It all depends, you know, uh, especially during this whole time that we're at. And it's a second colorway, all black. Uh, supposedly we're to get more colorways come in, hopefully. Definitely hold. It's, it's, I don't know. But the thing about these things here, man, I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I just got the heebie-jeebies of the... the uh, Avas, Alvas, just because the, the demand is so high, the resale is high... This thing feels like, it feels like a restock. I feel like there could be a restock coming up. Could be next year, could be Christmas time. Uh, who knows with this whole pandemic, most likely next year. But this has restock all over it. I mean, even with these here, I knew these things were gonna restock. You know, it glows with the first colorway. You know, I didn't think they're gonna restock, but the black ones, just because the demand, the demand is so high, I truly think it's gonna be restock and that's just going from my gut feeling i have no sources at all about it but you guys heard it first if they do restock come back to this video re and screenshot this i just got the phone with one of my resale buddies he thinks too as well he, uh these things are still gonna be good to go uh i just don't think i just don't want people to think that these things are gonna just like shoot up like crazy because most likely you know most likely that won't happen it could don't get me wrong, it definitely could. I don't want people to think that it's gonna just either shoot up and I don't want people to think it's gonna just drop down and go crazy. So don't think like that. It's gonna either, it's gonna do, this is my prediction. It's either gonna go, it's gonna go, it's up right now because people are panic buying. Within two weeks, I say about two weeks, you know, from here, that once people start getting pairs, people just hold on to it, people can't hold on and so on and so forth, things are just gonna drop down a little bit and then eventually hopefully when we're done with all this stuff going on and you know market gets back together because market's actually pretty up actually um it's gonna creep back up a little bit just up and it will continue to creep up like it'll stay creeping up and for the max i mean these things could go up 450 i'm talking about my size size nine and a half uh 450 easy 500 possibility 550 maybe but i don't think it could do like these numbers here you know I mean, I think, look at the, the Yeezy basketballs. Yeezy basketballs, one of the most limited Yeezys out there. Actually, one of the dopest ones, and they even dip. And these things here, it's the only one that hasn't dipped. It, it's uh, it's still up there, definitely. It's such a great Covenant shoe. But these things weren't, the reason why these keep going up, because these weren't as high as these. These start off really high, like, you know, 1,800, and they just then eventually went down. And now it's back up to where it should be. These things here, it's up. Whew. So I, I feel the same with the Avas, man. Uh, it, we'll see, man. I, I just think depends what your market is and what you're planning on doing. If you want, if you can't hold, definitely hold. But if you need to sell, bro, I get it. Then sell. It's fine. Right, man, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it for this hell hold or sell for these Avas. Let me know. Definitely DM me. Hit me up if you do have pairs for sale because I am buying. Uh, 
no matter what size it is we'll see if we can work out a deal um that's pretty much the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it uh make sure you guys follow me on all my uh, social media on jumpman chris i probably have more information if things come out again if when it resells it'll be it'll be just fine it might dip down a little bit in price but it'll be just fine it's not gonna be like a zebra or anything but just more like the black statics just look at that way guys uh if you guys don't, don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when i do drop this don't forget to follow me at all my social media at german chris on ig sometimes i'm on twitter and don't forget snapchat anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all stay safe german chris push Pew.